Hey everyone, so today I'm going to walk you through my under five minute blue proto drake farm on prop pally. The way I do this run now is way different than at the start of Wrath. So I actually don't fight any of the trash anymore except for the three skeletons at the beginning. To get past the first area, I pop an Envis pod and rocket boot through. Then I turn on Seal of Light and I slowly run to the end, just making sure I heal up from the mobs as I'm running. Make sure you have a Gnomish cloaking device on for this part because that's how we're going to drop all the mobs at the end. So once you get to Sky's room, just go around the corner. You're going to pop your Gnomish cloaking device to drop all the mobs. They can potentially hit you out of it if they're attacking at the right time. So it's safest if you bubble and then do it. In this clip, I actually messed up. At this point, you want to put on Seal of Command. I was not paying attention, I guess, and I had Seal of Light on for this whole thing. Fortunately, I didn't lose too much time because of it, but definitely put Seal of Command on here. So you're just going to run directly toward the end of the gauntlet, and you're going to focus the Witch Doctor. They have a curse they can put on you that really, really sucks, so try to kill them before they do that. And then you're just focusing down Harpooners. You need to kill three of them before Scotty comes back around, or you're going to have to wait for a whole nother pass, and you'll lose a lot of time on that. Once you kill the three Harpooners, just loot the Harpoons off the ground, and stand in between two of the Harpoons. When he comes in range, click one harpoon, then another, and then the first one again. There's just a small cooldown before you can click the same one again. So you'll see here, I'm a little bit behind on getting the ads down here because I had Seal of Light on the whole time like an idiot. Make sure you have Seal of Command on there. This is kind of a new tech I've added. Uh, you can actually DPS him during his whirlwind without taking damage. You want to just make sure you're attacking him from max melee range. So I kind of strafe back and forth as he's whirlwinding and that allows me to pretty easily stay at max melee range and keep attacking him. Once it's just you and Scotty, make sure you have Seal of Vengeance on the entire time. We want to kill him as quickly as possible. Keep Judgment of Wisdom up the entire time just to get more mana and be able to kill him quicker. Once you've procced our Defender and you get low, just pop Lay on Hands. And that's it. I ended up doing this run in about 444, but we had the Seal of Light issue, so it definitely could have been done quicker. And there's a reason I chose this clip in particular, even though it has the Seal of Light mistake in it. So thank you for watching and enjoy the ending here. Let's get this head, boys. What? Man. Solo, solo Sarth and Tenebron one time, dude. Two times, Sarth. It's all in his head now. Telling your wife to take that t-shirt back. Oh, shit, dude, dropped. it dropped. What the fuck? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, the grass, dude. Okay. How fast was that? How fast was it? Oh, uh, I, well, I stopped it late because I got distracted. It was like 440, I think. It was like my oh, quickest yeah, ever. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, that's definitely the video. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude.